Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Book Bites, Balanced Love, Healing Your Marriage Before It Begins. Just a quick introduction. My name is Javier Jerena. Oops, I should put it right here so I don't block the text right here. I'm the co-author of Balanced Love, Healing Your Marriage Before It Begins. And what we're doing today is we're going over chapter six, which is uh, one of my favorite ones, which is courtship. And what we are doing is we giving you uh, um, a taste of the chapter, giving you three key points and also leaving you with some reflection questions for you to consider. So let's get started. Great. So today we're going to talk about courtship. Like I said, it's one of my favorite uh, topics. I think um, there is uh, an element of beauty. There's an element of uh, really create uh, a great dating environment. Uh, even though right now things have changed uh, from the past when I there were no mobile phones and everything was pretty much either an introduction by a group a good friend of yours or it was pretty much uh doing just a pure getting to know someone and trying to grab their attention and start uh, having a conversation so i'm very aware that things have changed now and everything is very very digital but let's see let's let's touch on on three topics that christina and i think that can really help uh, build uh, a beautiful courtship. So the number one topics is is really treating everybody with dignity and respect. The Bible says that we should treat our brothers and sisters in that terminology, brothers and sisters. And I think when we are in a courtship element, uh, we tend to have this notion of um, I was looking for that person who's going to help me, fix me, or really take care of things. So we are uh, creating this narrative, this uh, fantasy of someone who who's going to take care of all these issues and all these problems that I have. So uh, it becomes more of an illusion of, of someone that who's not really there. And then every time we meet somebody, uh, we are literally judging them. And we're literally looking for things that we're looking for. And, and if they don't meet that much, then what happens is they're discarded. So we're not really curious and, and we're not really looking them with, with curiosity and, and questions to get to know them. Another element is, is really uh, fixating on what I call the uh, external uh, appearance instead of the internal ones. So I think we all beautiful inside and obviously uh, all of us are trying to really create a mask or create uh, something that we're not. So so really looking into the person uh, from the inside instead of just saying, OK, well, if they're not yeah, only date six two, uh, I don't date five eight. So so really take that in consideration. So let's jump into the second point. The second point um, talks about really having uh, faith um, and, and really relying in, in God's guidance um, and, and really moving forward with this person that you're dating. Um, I always share with Christina that I always had this, what I call martini moments. And these martini moments were literally uh, a gut feeling um, and I know it was the Holy Spirit really telling me, hey, this is not a really a person that should go any, any deeper because they're not in alignment with your faith. They're not in alignment with your values and what you stand for. So, so really um, trust your faith to guide you to the right person. And I think and trust your gut feeling that, you know, that person you're with uh, is the person that is going to be the one that, Ultimately, you're gonna make, you're gonna do a family, not you're gonna create a family. So that's the uh, second point. The third point, um, it's one of my favorites, is is really be an open book, and really be transparent. I think you build a relationship with trust, 
And I think when we do courtship, it's really essential to be an open book and put all the cards in the tables and really let the other person who you truly are. Because when we are authentic with ourselves, when we are really being ourselves, that's when the best of us comes out, right? So be very uh, authentic. Um, and I think this would really open the door for your partner and you to have a, a deeper connection during your courtship. So just to, to recap, right? Courtship is a spiritual take on dating that entails being emotional, transparent, and owning your own values and beliefs from the very beginning of a relationship. When you open to learning about someone from the inside out, you receive God's timing and gifts whenever it is romantic relationship or not. So just to give you a quick summary of, of the courtship. And just to end that, I, I love this quote from Gloria Stemmen. For too many people are looking for the right person instead of trying to be the right person. So I think also in courtship, it's, it's a really good time to really be the best version of yourself. So just to uh, kind of recap on the three points, one of them is, is really uh, being curious instead of kind of having this fantasy of, of the person that I want to meet. And if they don't meet those expectations, then there's definitely uh, a sense of disappointment. Uh, the other one is is really uh, trusting your faith and, and having the Holy Spirit guide you to the right person. So when you have these gut feelings that someone is not really in alignment from from of, of your values and, and beliefs, then, then there's something there that is telling you perhaps it's not the right person to move forward in this courtship. And the third one is really laying out all the cards in the tables and really be authentic and be very open because I think that creates more trust. So the more trust you have, the more uh, that relationship is going to flourish. So just to leave you some reflection uh, questions and, and actions in there. The first one is, do you treat your partner as you want to be treated? Uh, you know, are you treating your partner the same way you're treating yourself, right? Are you loving, are you, lo are you fully loving yourself? Because we believe that if you don't fully 100% love yourselves, most likely you're not going to be able to love that person 100%. And also, do you feel cherished and respected, right, in that relationship? I think a relationship is, is a continuous feedback of each other. And that feedback is about, hey, your strengths, your gifts, and your talents, right? And the second question is, are you willing to heal yourself unconditionally, right? And what we mean by that is, are you willing to, what I call, tell yourself, hey, I'm enough, I'm doing great, really, really encouraging yourself instead of punishing yourself for the things that you could have done, right? And if so, what would be one thing that you can do for yourself, that you did for yourself today? So think about what is one thing that you can qualify as, as uh, loving yourself unconditionally today. So we're leaving you with those uh, reflection questions. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in buying the book, it's available on Amazon's uh, in audio, Kindle, and paperback. So it's uh, Boundless Love, Healing Your Marriage Before It Begins. And today our goal is just to give you this uh, book bites on chapter six about courtship. And I hope you found the content interesting if you have any questions you have any comments please um, write it down we get back to you pretty fast and if you're watching this in our youtube channels please subscribe and hit the notification button so you are notified every single time that we are publishing a video we do videos uh, twice a week so we have a lot of exciting new content uh, coming up 
And next week, you will see uh, Christina, my amazing, beautiful wife, talking about chapter seven. And I will share what chapter seven is, unless you have the book. And then obviously, you know what chapter seven is all about. But I think we get it into what I call the journey of 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 day of of really getting to know the, the you know now we're in the courtship now we get it into okay the courtship and then we start really visioning and planning and designing and talking about uh topics that perhaps are are hard to talk to but they're essential to do it uh before you start your your relationship and your new future with your husband and wife. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next two weeks from now. Bye-bye.